Hello, this is Random Talk, and we're reviewing Arcus Odyssey for the Sega. This, I consider one of the greatest Sega games that I've ever played. It's an action game with really good cutscenes, good music, and of course graphics. And there's the opening story if you want to watch it, but we may skip it. Anyway, there's a one-player and two-player mode. Now, I will suggest if you play this game as a one-player, the best choice will be the Elf. Mainly because of the, use, the ability to use healing magic with the crystals and the ricocheting arrows. But there's also the Swordsman, the Chain-using guy, and the Wizard. But for the purpose of this review, I'm using the Elf because I think it's the best character to do solo. I'm sure you've seen people play this before. Well, every time you defeat a boss, you get to choose to upgrade your weapon or upgrade your health. But I always think it's best to upgrade your weapon to maximum as soon as possible. And there is a trick on this game to get as many dolls of life as you want. Or actually double the dolls of life, which is, you know, start a two-player game and then let the second player die off. Then you're able to fucking collect multiple extra dolls of life at the start of each stage. But as you can see, the ricocheting arrow is very effective. And yeah, you collect treasure the power. You can collect treasure to power up the specialty items as you go through the game, but you have a limited item list. So you gotta be really careful about which items you decide to keep. I forgot about that asshole frog right there. Oh, this bad. I didn't mean to go to the boss immediately. I didn't get any of the fucking treasures. But yeah, that was a fuck up on my part. Red is weapon, and blue gym is health. See, now I got fire arrows, but I made a terrible mistake. I didn't get any of the treasures in the first stage, so I actually missed a few good treasures. But yeah, you need to search every stage out. But I don't remember how many acts there are. I think there are six acts, might be seven. But each stage has its own unique uh, fucking uh, style to it. And you can get companions to join you. Uh, like in this stage, it's the first stage where you can gain companions. There's a gel over here. Uh, yeah, right down there. I didn't go to it. I went the right way to get the key first. But you get uh, NPC companions that will help you fight. Oh, not there to jail, never mind. So, like here, you get four choices of companions, and once you get the key, you can choose who you want to rescue. And there are many stages, uh, like the Sky City or whatever, where you can get uh, fucking various companions with different abilities depending on which one you pick. Now, as usual, I'm not doing too great, but. Uh, with the elf, the magical power crystal will let you cast a heal spell, which is actually one of the main reasons why uh, the elf is one of the best guys to be solo. Because he can stockpile, I think, up to six or seven power crystals. Oh, no, I wanted to take it. I just decided he was asking me if to use it. But yeah. I gotta go around the long way. Well, like I said, it's been years and years since I played this game. So I gotta kind of remember where to go in the stages because it's been so long. 
So now I got plenty of magic power crystals for healing. Now I'm probably not going to play through the entire game. But I just wanted to show you that this is actually a good game and that uh, if you've never played it before, it's definitely a game worth playing. Anyway, on this stage, your first objective, each stage has different objectives. On this stage, your first objective is to find the key. Which, I don't remember if I had to talk to somebody first or not. Because the key should have been at that bridge. So I think I fucked up. I think it's only you gotta talk to first, but the key should have been at that bridge. Uh, Lamp of Life is useful. The Lamp of Life pretty much restores your health completely if you don't have uh, anything that can heal you. Man, I'm fucking up. I mean... Well, now I got the prison key. Now, what was that at the bridge? I can't remember. But there was something about that bridge. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. But anyway, we got the prison keys. So now we can uh, fucking get a partner. Okay. Just gotta remember where the partners are now. I think we're heading back to the very beginning. No, we had the right way. Now, depending on what partner you want, you just talk to the person in jail for the partner you want. There's a fighter, a wizard, a thief guy. I got the mage person. I like the mage person in this stage because they have heat seeking wolves. Uh, you know, which is very helpful. And now that we got her, we can move on to the next stage. At least in this stage, we got some of the treasures. Oh, boy, I got that. Not good, we need a bit. Oh, wait. Nah, now we go to the bridge. Yeah, after you get your partner, you go to the bridge. I'm starting to remember now. Now we go to that bridge. No, no, we don't need to go that way anymore. Yeah, I'm starting to remember now. Alright, got it. The hell? The key to the I can't fucking remember. I thought it had something to do with that bridge. I apologize. My memory on this game apparently is less than I thought. Because, uh, I don't know. I should have been able to get that key 
to make it through to the end. But each stage has some kind of little puzzle to solve, except for, of course, the first stage, I completely screwed up on it. But yeah, there should have been something on this bridge. But anyway, we're probably going to end this review here because the dogs are starting to act up. Yeah, I know y'all probably don't like it when the dogs are carrying on in the background. Besides, this was just a look at this game. I may play it all the way through later. So you can see all the stages and all the companions and all that shit. But, uh, the dog. Uh, I gotta end this here because of the dogs and stuff. But anyway, if you like my videos, please subscribe. But I gotta end this one right here because I gotta deal with the dog situation happening outside. So y'all have a good night.